Hi, Prince, UK Self Defense Green. Time to sharpen the blades, oh yeah. Okay, today I'm going to elaborate on a technique that I showed on a video prior to this, and it's about the spinning back fist. Uh, a lot of karate systems call it uh, uraken, which is the back fist, and katen, which is spinning. Now, uh, it's become more prevalent in today's society, especially in mixed martial arts, you'll see, or uh, you know, UFC and all the type of thing, you'll see some guys doing some really nice uh, back fists. And the back fist can be done in two or three different ways. Uh, but where the back fist is concerned, I mean, it really boils down to having some nice footwork. And as we talk about the principle that the grip that I have in my head and what I like to teach uh, my students is the principle that maybe that will help you. And that principle is the, the 360 degree angle of turn, that's a standard mathematical equation, 360 degree uh, angle, and the 12, the six, the nine, and the three o'clock positions. So as I discussed before, okay, if a multiple attack happens, you, I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult in, in any, under any circumstances to deal with. But having the ability where if you're here, you can go to 180 degrees and you can hit back in that position. So you just look quite bang and you drop one and you're back here, that's fantastic. But having the ability to be here and to step and to back fist and come this way is also a really nice attribute to have. And you're covering 360 degrees because you're going from 12 o'clock here. So if I'm at 12 o'clock, you're stepping out to about two o'clock and then you drop in into this stance and you're spinning back. Now, if you see in UFC, I'll show you from this distance so you can see it. The step is, they'll be in this kind of position and they'll step to that position, they'll spin back and they'll throw it. That is a really nice move. Now, Nico Ashidachi in karate is a cat stance. And the cat stance is like that, okay? And what the cat stance allows is for 70% distribution of weight on the back foot and 30% on the front foot. That allows for nice snap kicks, liver shots, roundhouse kicks, and it allows you to move backwards and transition to another uh, stance very, very quickly, another position, another fighting position. So if we look at traditional karate, for instance, you might get this in Taekwondo, but you definitely get it in Okinawan karate, okay? So say I'm here, so I start from this position here, and I go into the stance and the block, I punch, and I turn back into this position, and I punch again. The bit that we like here, the bit that we're looking at here, is that actual, that turn back there, because that's a nice turn back. So if you can get the ability to do that turn back, I mean, you've got the ability to do a nice uh, back fist or spinning back fist without any uh, shenanigans in your movement. Because I've seen a lot of people in situations when I've worked the doors, or I've been in clubs, or I've uh, watched other people sparring, and especially in areas of conflict, if there's something happening this kind of way and they should run, they have to physically turn around in that position, okay? And it's a bit doddery to me, you kind of... What you need is to have the ability where you just can... and you can strike. So that's one method, just from there, so you step and you strike, which is a very nice method. And as I showed you before, the other method, you step, bam, and you strike that way. So what I'm gonna do I'm going to show you again a static version of this spinning back fist. And don't forget, in a lot of USC systems, a lot of people actually go whack. And they really kind of, I mean, rake it all the way around. So they spin like this crazy bam. Okay. Whatever your preference is, then it works for you. I mean, in self-defense, the same as martial arts, there's no set pattern. All we do, we train to nail the techniques. But in reality, as we all know, it doesn't matter if your fist is that way, or if your fist is that way, or if it's that way, you know, so long as you connect and you get the, the generalized shot in, that works. But I'll show you what I mean, okay, right? So any situation that you get that comes in the street, you really want to use a feint as well, okay? That's a kind of movement 
that gives you nanoseconds or makes the other person flinch. So say you hear, say you hear you, you're like this, and you're ready. That kind of movement could possibly make the other person flinch. That gives you a very quick opening. So say we're here, okay, right? And I was, say, in this position, and I'm here, and I was... Do you see what I did? I went from here, I kind of flicked, and I, as I moved, bam, I did a short spinning back fist. Others may have gone all the way around. That's the one that you tend to see in the UFC. It's almost like a wild, boom, that kind of punch. It's like a bam, like a haymaker. I prefer to use it with less of the swing and more of like in the arakanuchi, the back fist, with that little bit of flick at the end. We've already covered this in another video, so that's what I just did. It's one of those skills that's a gross motor skill. It's quite easy to learn. And if you're incorporating it every day into your training, so you've got this nucleus of skill sets, everything that you practice outside that, you look at as, as, as like your advanced stuff. But so long as you can do your basic kicks, your basic punches, your elbows, your parries, your strikes, you have got yourself a very good system to protect yourself when you're on the street. Okay, I hope that kind of helped the guy uh, that has asked the question about the footwork. Uh, it's quite simple. Practice makes perfect. Anyway, if you like the channel, these fight tips, uh, please subscribe. And it'd be nice if you could give me a, a like as well. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.